Let's look at how to graph a line from a function table. The data in the table represents a function. Graph the function, click to select points on the graph. Okay, so when I look at my table, remember the X column and the Y column together make up an ordered pair. So for example, the first pair would be the point two nine. Remember that first number, the X value, tells you how far to go right or left. If it's positive, you move to the right from zero. If it was negative, you'd move to the left. And that second or Y value tells you how far to go up or down, up for a positive, down for a negative. So when I plot the point two nine, I always start at the origin, okay? And the origin is the point right here, zero, zero, which is the point where the X and Y axis cross. And then from there, I'm gonna go two to the right, since my X value is positive two, and then I'm gonna go up nine, since my Y coordinate is nine. Next, we're gonna plot the point three, eight. So that tells me to go three to the right and up eight. And you can see, once I have two points on my line, or once I have two points, I can draw the line through, but the rest of these should automatically fall on that line, right? Seven, four is gonna be right here. Eight, three, all of these points are on the same line. And you can see two, nine that we already plotted right here, seven, four, three, eight, so all of these points, and even 9, 2, would be right here, 9 to the right and up 2. So they all fall on this line, which represents our function table. The data in the table represents a function. Graph the function. Okay, so we know we can pick any two points to graph, and we're going to think of them, the x value is telling us how far to move to the right, since they're positive, and the Y coordinate is telling us how far to move up, since those are all positive numbers. So if I go to plot this first point, three, nine, remember you start from the origin, which is zero, zero, or where the X and Y axis cross, and the first point is telling me to go three to the right, and then up nine. The second point, four, seven, again, if I start at the origin, I would move four to the right, and seven up. Okay, let's graph our table or our data from the table. My first point is 310. So if I start at my origin, my X value of three tells me to go three to the right. My Y value of 10 tells me to go up 10. Let's also plot the next point for eight. So again, starting at my origin, that tells me to go four to the right and eight up. And the rest of these points should automatically be on that line, right? Five, six would be five to the right and up six. Seven, two, seven to the right and up two, that's right on the line. And so is eight, zero, eight to the right and zero up or down. Okay, let's graph our points. Our first point is six, nine. So starting at the origin, I'm gonna move six to the right and up nine. And you can either count the boxes or you can also look at the numbers to match them up, right? I can see that um, I'm right above the six and right across from the nine. So I went six to the right and up nine. And seven, six, again, starting at the origin, going seven to the right, landing on my seven and up six. The data in the table represents a function. Okay, I've, my first point is one, one. So I'm gonna go one to the right and up one. My next point is three, three. So I'm gonna go three to the right and up three. And you can see four, four, five, five, and seven, seven also would all fall on this line. Okay, 
this time, let's plot our first two points. One six would go one to the right and up six. Two seven would be two to the right and up seven. And we've got our line. Okay, let's plot some points. One zero would be one to the right, zero up or down. That next point, two two, if I start at the origin, I'm gonna move two to the right and up two. Our first point is 2, 10. That's telling me to go 2 to the right and up 10. My second point is 3, 9. So again, starting at the origin, I move right to the 3 and up to the 9. My point 1, 10 tells me to go 1 to the right, up 10. My point 3, 6 tells me to go 3 to the right and up 6. My point two three tells me to go two to the right and up three. Four two tells me to go four to the right and up two. 